One of the great composers of today is a chap by the name of Mike Patton. You may know him best as the lead singer for Faith No More. One of his uh, great side projects uh, is Phantomass. And Phantomass is made up of um, uh, uh, King Buzzo from the Melvins, and um, you've got um, Dave Lombardo from Slayer on drums. And they're fantastic with what they do. And a lot of what they do is a style of music called pointillism, where everything's short and sharp bursts and little tiny phrases. Um, I talked about this a lot in 2012 when I did um, a show on Mike Patton and Trent Reznor, funnily enough, but uh, Mike Patton's the guy. Now, if we take our current Mike Patton kind of guy where he'll put out an album and instead of the typical dozen tracks, there's actually 45 tracks on the album when we're talking about Phantom Mass in particular. Uh, what happens is if we go back to um, a, a classical chap uh, from the serialist composers uh, which started out with Schoenberg. Schoenberg's uh, two greatest students was uh, Alban Berg and um, Anton Webern. And I want to talk about Anton Webern because he was also an influence of Frank Zappa. Anton Webern was very famous for his pointillistic. Everything was short and sharp and boop, beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, beep, and all this sort of stuff. And uh, Frank Zappa his composition style for classical music in particular is of a very pointillistic style and sometimes it, it comes about, uh, around very disjointed but then underneath uh, there will be a regular rhythm coming in or he'll resolve all the jagged bits with a smooth rhythm after it and all that so um, he'll build up some tension and then he'll release it with a cool beat or some such thing. So that's really uh, what this piece is all about. And um, some liberal quoting from the black page, all right, and then bending it and pulling it and doing other things with it. Mm. <laughs>